Hey, thank you for joining us as we continue our journey back to the lower mainland of British Columbia. Yeah, so we're taking the Highway 3 route, which is called Crow's Nest Pass, and we love to bring you guys along on our journey. My name is Lisa. And my name is Kent, and we're Living Light RV. We're out here, we're grabbing life by the tail because you never know what tomorrow holds. And about three years ago, we sold all our stuff, our house, our motorcycles, our businesses. We got rid of everything so that we could buy this vintage motorhome. Her name is Bessie. We took two weeks to renovate, and now we are full-time RVers yeah. and absolutely loving it. One of our favorite things is to bring you guys along with us as we journey. And when we hit the road, we went to find and see and experience amazing places. Mm -hmm. And we also happened to find and experience and share life with amazing people. Oh, it's all about the people, that's for sure. Anyway, you guys come along with us this week. We're going to show you some really awesome, beautiful scenery. Yeah. Man, I'll tell you, this area of Canada is some of God's most beautiful country. And yeah, let's do this. <laughs> the rest area looks like. The side of Highway 3, this is absolutely gorgeous. There's a trail through here. So when you're on a hot day going down a steep hill and you see a sign that says rest area, take it. Even if you don't feel like you need it, take it anyway because it's gorgeous out here. Good morning. We stayed overnight just off the road, just outside of Grand Forks, heading up that road this morning. One thing about boondocking, when you just stop at the side of the road, which is a nice little place here, uh, not really designed for overnight, but well, it worked. We don't hear the road noise. Uh, vehicles go by us and we're like, heard that before. We don't, we're not hearing it. Uh, it's, it's great. You get immune to it. Not hearing that road noise, it's great. At nighttime, nobody's hitting that pass. So there's basically no noise all night from even the pass. So the, the uh, traffic does pick up in the morning. And right here on the other side of the rig, about uh, oh, a two minute walk, you'd be at the US border. That's where Grand Forks is, right at the border. And the reason I'm on this side of the rig is because of the constant breeze. There you go. That's the US. Just over there a little bit. Not far. Up the road here. The road takes a, uh, a twist and it's only about 100 feet from the border, maybe, maybe 50 feet. So that's where Grand Forks is in the Kootenays or Kootenay Lake. That was amazing. Uh, with the ferry and all that, that was, I loved it. So it's another travel day today. We don't have a lot far to go. This place is gonna cool down this next whole week. Uh, it's gonna rain tonight, go down really low, getting almost down to, uh, well, almost down to freezing, not quite, but it'll dip down pretty low and it won't be quite as pleasant as what we've enjoyed. Uh, well, it's still getting on to early summer. There you go. Time to wake up, have a coffee, get some breakfast, get ready for the road and uh, find our next place. <laughs> well guys, we woke up this morning. It was beautiful, sunny, warm. It felt just as hot as it was gonna be as, as the last few days. It's still morning. My coffee hasn't quite kicked in yet. And now it's raining. 
and it smells so good. Oh, I love the smell of fresh rain. It's like, I think it's called petrichol. But anyway, we are now headed up to a Soyuz. I saw on Campendium and freecampsites.net that there is a really cool boondocking location. However, if it's raining up there, I don't think we're gonna camp there because it's quite uh, sandy and muddy. So we'll see. <laughs> Again, another day of we don't really know where we're staying tonight. But now it's really raining. This is awesome. It's exciting. We should have left earlier, but you know, we're not morning people. Cassie needed a bath. What's that? Cassie needed a bath. <laughs> so this is pretty fun for me. This is a trip down memory lane. We're in Midway, British Columbia. And I think this is the house. It's one of these houses right along here that you can keep driving on if you want. Don't want to freak out any neighbors. Anyway, my grandparents used to live in this town and they um, were really close to this park area. And I have a funny story for you because, you know, we do grab life by the tail. T-A-L-E. So here's a little tale for you. My family were camping in my par grandparents' backyard. My grandmother had made dinner. It was fish and my sister and I thought the fish tasted disgusting. I'm sure it was delicious, but as kids we're like, this is gross, we don't want to eat this. So we said, can we eat our supper in the trailer? And mom and dad were like, oh sure, that's a good idea. So we're sitting there and we're sitting right at the dinette and the window was there so we would take our fish and we would just like drop it off of the plate and put it outside. <laughs> and sure enough, we ate all of our fish, it was great. Meaning, uh, meaning it got off your plate. Meaning it got off of our plate. And I'm sure some animal in the middle of the night was quite happy to eat our fish. Anyway, Midway's a super cute town. This whole area is gorgeous. Grand Forks, Midway, a Soyuz. If you're ever in the area, come on down. There's a campground just, just right on the river here. The border, the U.S. border is really, really close to here. And uh, yeah, come and enjoy. feel the raindrops coming in. <laughs> Alright. Back in the right, go in! 
go, 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 go. Hold up, Daphne. Good girl. Water. She wants water. 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 Batten down the hatches. Where are we going? We're going to Stem Winer RV Provincial Park Let's to go. rest for the night. Yes. Because we've seen Headley. Okay, well, on with the adventure. We just stopped at the Stem Winder Provincial Park. It wasn't closed. I'm not sure why Google said it was going to be closed. That was kind of weird. Lots of people in there. We're zero for two. What does that mean? Well, we went to uh, a Soyuz, saw the places, and said, well, let's just drive. And then we got to Headley and Stem Winder. And when we got to Stem Winder, we pulled through the park and went, let's just drive. So, zero for two. We could have stayed at either. Well, not, not the first one, not, not really. Well, here's the thing. We like driving. <laughs> we like driving. We do want to get to Cultus tomorrow, and I don't want to get to Cultus super late because I want to be able to, you know, set up and relax and stuff. And we don't like spending money. <laughs> that really is what it boils down to. This provincial park here is $18 a night, and we're like, you know what? If we can pull over on the side of the road for free in an hour or two, Let's just do that. I mean, whatever. Anyway, we're gonna find a roadside pullout or a rest area or some other place to park and we'll let you know where that ends up being. In the meantime, it stopped raining and it's a beautiful day for a drive. Just gotta say, when you do the math and last night was zero and this night would have been staying there 18, you do the math on that and it's a pretty high percentage of increase. All right, guys, we stayed at a really great spot last night. It was called Sunday Summit. Highly recommend it if you have a giant rig like Jim and Kelly Stockman from <laughs> Sweet Travels. Even they could stay there. Uh, so yeah, we will post the coordinates for that on our Patreon page, but you can Google it, Sunday Summit. And we're finding that as we're driving along here, there are lots of places to pull out. What do they call it, a honey spot? Oh, that's what the truckers would call it. The truckers them. call it the honey spot. Um, lots of sort there's of just, another there's one. another one right, most of them are pretty level actually, yeah. yes, true. We pass them and say that one works, that one works, yeah. that one works, we pass them quite a few. Like maybe what, 15? Yeah. Yeah. And so if you lots. want to take West Headley uh, Highway, you'll find another 20. Yeah. Yeah. It's awesome. Anyway, we are on the last leg of this journey for traveling this week. It has been so much fun. It's been great taking you guys along with us. We are heading into, well actually we just got into Manning Park, right? Um, I, I don't know if we're, yes we are. I think we're we officially are in, Manning, in Park. Manning Park. The thing about living in an RV is that you are completely self-contained. I mean, we haven't had contact with anybody at all, except that of our choice and of their choice, like friends. One of the fabulous things about staying overnight somewhere out in the middle of the wilderness is the night sky. There is no light pollution. It is absolutely epic. Can't took an amazing photo actually. We'll show that to you. And it is just beautiful out there. Also, he saw a wolf yesterday, so that's pretty awesome. Uh, so yeah, when you're out here, you know, be respectful of the wildlife because they're they're out here too. This is their space. This is their house. <laughs> Okie dokie, we just stopped in Manning Park Provincial Park. <laughs> For you. <laughs> We're like, hey, let's go see what this Dooney Trail is all about. Okay, that was a little bit sketch. Woo!
nice to get out. Ah, so fresh out here.